Pythagoras theorem. Now this famous theorem is after an eminent Greek philosopher whose name was Pythagoras. Okay. Now what Pythagoras said was that if you have a right angle triangle, okay, what is a right angle triangle in one of the in which one of the angles is 90 degree. So let's call this triangle as ABC. In a right angle triangle, there are three sides. Of course, there are three sides in every triangle. These three, three sides are basically known as hypotenuse, base, and height. Hypotenuse is basically the side which is opposite to the right angle. And this is also the largest side, meaning thereby that the length of the side is the maximum of all the three sides in a triangle. Now what the Pythagoras theorem said was that if you find out the square of the length of the hypotenuse that will be equal to the square of height plus the square of the length of the base or simply speaking this says that h square is equal to b square plus l square in this case, B basically represents the base and L basically represents the height. So let's say you have a right angle triangle A, B, C, which is right angled at B. Then let's say, for example, the length of AC is equal to 5 and BC is equal to 4. Now, given that this is a right angle triangle, the square of length of AC will be equal to the square of length of BC plus AB. Right? AC we know is 5. 5 square is equal to BC is 4 square plus AB square. Now we don't know the length of AB. But if we put these values in the Pythagoras theorem, AB square will be equal to 5 square is how much? 25. 4 square is 16, but as this moves to the other side, this becomes minus 9. Or AB is equal to square root of 9. This could be either plus minus 3, but because the length cannot be negative, so we take this value as 3. Right? So using the Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, if we are told about the length of the two sides, then we can find out the length of the third side. Also note that the hypotenuse is the largest side insofar as the length is concerned. The reverse of this theorem is that if the square of one side is equal to the sum of square of other two sides, then it's a right angle triangle. So let's say you were not, there was no question here, but instead you were told that in triangle ABC this is 5, this is 4 and this is 3. We know that 5 square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. By doing this, the angle opposite to the largest side, which is 5, will be a right angle triangle. 